up? Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, hello, my name is Amanda and I upload a video every Wednesday and Sunday. So today's video, as you guys can tell by the title, is my $10 makeup look and my $10 makeup routine. So basically, I went to the dollar store. This was like, I already know I put a disclaimer at the beginning of this video, but just so you guys know, I bought all this stuff like a long, long time ago because I was supposed to do a collaboration with Dollar Tree and I like just didn't have time to like do it within the deadline and stuff. But I ended up just like buying all the stuff anyways um, cause I thought I was gonna have time to do it and I didn't. So still here. So I went to Dollar Tree and just got like a bunch of different like makeups because I was supposed to do this a long time ago. It's fine. I also just want to like point out, I know I said this is like a $10 makeup routine, a makeup look, but it's not actually going to be $10. I got mascara and fake lashes and I really don't feel like trying to put on fake lashes right now. So I'm just going to do the mascara. So it's technically going to be like a $9 makeup routine. So I'm just going to show you everything I got. So I got this liquid makeup, this foundation. I got it in the color natural. I don't really know. They only had like two options, I think, from what I remember. And then I also got this BB cream in a color medium. I've never even used BB cream, so I don't know. I just like when picked. I got this liquid eyeliner. This is the mascara that I got. I got these two eyeshadows, so I figured I would just kind of like use both. I got a brow tint, a contour and highlight duo pencil, and this metallic lipstick. That looks really, really bright in the camera. I really hope it's not actually this bright. It looks extremely bright in the camera right now. I don't know why it's not actually like, it doesn't, it looks like a lot darker in person. So I don't know exactly how that's gonna look. So for this video, I'm not gonna be using like any other products at all. This is gonna be fully just Dollar Tree makeup. So that means I'm not gonna be using my primer, my Too Faced primer, and I'm not gonna be using my um, Clinique like moisturizer. So it might look a little rough, but it's fine. So, so I'm gonna start off with my eyeshadow. These are the two eyeshadows palettes that I got. They are the LA color ones. So I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna do with these yet. I'm either, I'm thinking about either going for like the more pinky vibe or the more brown vibe. Not sure yet. Probably brown just because like I'm better at doing neutrals than I am at doing pink. So I might just do that, yeah. Yeah, I'm probably just gonna do the browns. And don't you love when like the cheap little makeup palettes come with these little brushes? So yeah, I'm gonna try and do it with these little brushes and see how this pans out. Cause yeah, your, your girl just doesn't, just doesn't know. Using this like little tiny brush is such like a throwback from when you would have to like, oh man, this doesn't even come on to my, what this does not come on i might have to just switch to like my actual makeup brushes it's literally am i this literally does not come on to my eyelid at all am i just like not oh it's kind of coming on do you see that oh man this is bad this is this was not a good idea oh this is so difficult how do people expect you to like actually put this onto your eyelid? It does not come off. It also kind of hurts. I do not like this thing. I mean, it, you, clearly you can see it's like something's on my eyelid now, but you can't even, like, ow, this like honestly kind of hurts. I don't like this little brush thing that they try and give you. Okay. I feel like this would be fine, you know, if it's like, if I'm trying to do like a, a natural, like everyday kind of makeup, because it doesn't come off, like it doesn't show very well. So as you can see, like clearly like compared to this eyelid, you can tell, but I also picked a very light shade. So from this other palette, I'm just going to pick this guy right here. I'm gonna see what he looks like. Yeah, I don't know. This is this is gonna be an adventure because I don't know what the hell I'm doing. So one thing that I do notice is you really have to like get deep in there in that palette to get a lot of color off of it. So let's see. Oh, okay. This is like more of an orangey. Do you guys like that or no? Like I can't tell if I like it or not. 
I also don't know what I'm trying to do. Like, I don't know what kind of look I'm trying to do. I'm just kind of just winging it at this point. But you know, it's showing, it's showing. I also just like to do my eye makeup first. Just cause like, in case you fuck up or like if your mascara messes up or your eyeliner messes up, like you don't have to like try and get it off of like the foundation and all the other stuff that you have going on. Oh, okay, yeah, that's really orange. I don't know how I feel about that. You know, it's fine, we're gonna make it work. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with this like, mm, I'm just gonna go in with this one now and I'm just gonna put it on like the outer corner and see how that looks. This <laughs> is so difficult. I feel like I'm like 13 again trying to do my own makeup with these little weird ass brushes. Try and blend, blend, blend. This like, okay, these little brushes hurt. How am I supposed to blend? This hurt. This looks so weird. I literally can't blend with this little brush. <laughs> this is difficult. You guys, this is difficult. This is like a challenge. Instead of like, get ready with me, this is more of a challenge. So that's what that looks like. So before, after. I'm gonna go in a little crease right there. I'm gonna do like this little white guy. I'm just gonna put him on a little crease to make it like pop out. Oh, that is, that is, that is white. That is very white. Oh man. I mean, it like really pops it out, but like, Damn, that is white. So that's my eyeshadow look that I'm doing. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye now. Okay, so my other eye is done with my eyeshadow now. Um, I'm like debating on whether I should do all of my eye stuff now. So let's just go ahead and do, mm, yeah, okay. Let's go ahead and do liquid eyeliner now. I feel like Dollar Tree liquid eyeliner is gonna be really, rough to work with. Very liquidy, I can tell you that. Also don't accuse me, don't hate me in the comments for doing this, my eyeliner this way. I just don't, I've never worked with this eyeliner so I have to like, I know you're not supposed to pull your eye but like sometimes you just gotta, okay? I don't know what told me to do a wing. Some some voice inside me told me to do a wing. So see if I can accomplish this exact like wing on the other eye. I don't know if this is possible but we'll see. Oh, this is hard. <laughs> okay, it doesn't look too bad, but you can definitely, you can definitely see where I fucked it up. Do you see that right there at the tail? Yeah, I don't know. I can't even tell if it's even or not. Probably not. It's fine. It does dry really quickly though. I gotta give it that. There's my eyeliner. So my eyeliner's done. Now I'm gonna go in with the mascara. So this one, I know this brand, this one's Wet n Wild. So the Wet n Wild Mega Wear mascara let's try you out i am just gonna i know i said i was gonna use any other products but i am just gonna like you know do my lashes really quick okay so that's what the spiral looks like right there so let's try and put this on it's not as like voluminous as i'd like So eyes are done, you can kind of see my mascara a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do the foundation now. I totally thought I was filming <laughs> oh, this whole entire time, but I wasn't. Okay, so I started putting my foundation on. Um, I did get the shade medium because I don't know what shade I am. I had to choose between medium and like light or something. And I think the light, trying to get this stuff out of here is not the best, but it is kind of, it's pretty easy to put on. Um, also, like I said before, since I got BB cream, I don't know exactly how you put BB cream on. So I'm sorry if you're supposed to put BB cream on before you put your foundation on. I'm sorry. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm not a beauty guru. I feel like the medium is okay on my skin. So yeah, it doesn't feel too bad. Okay. 
It doesn't look too bad. It actually was just really, really light coverage. I feel like I actually picked a good color. Yeah, not too dark. I'm gonna put some Bunsen into my neck so I don't look completely crazy. So that is the foundation. I'm gonna use the BB cream. No, my hands are all orangey now. <laughs> I'm gonna figure out what to do with the BB cream because like I said, I don't know what I'm doing with BB cream. Okay, so I guess you're supposed to put BB cream on before foundation, but because BB cream, I know BB cream can either be used as just by itself or as a primer or like, you know, instead of foundation, like use BB cream, but you know, I just wanted to try both. I s just squeeze this thing. Do you see how much I'm squeezing it and nothing's coming out? I literally just opened this out of the box, so. Oh, this is dark. Ooh. I think I picked a too dark one. Oh, ooh, okay. And I'm gonna just put a dot here and a little bit there, a little bit there, a little bit there, a little bit there. I'm just gonna blend it in. Yeah, I should have definitely used this before the foundation, but since it blend, it actually blends in pretty nicely. So not too bad. I can definitely see why people would pick this over foundation. Okay. So my BB cream is done. Now I'm gonna go with my face contour and highlight duo pencil and um, we'll see how this goes. Okay, I'm kind of scared for this one because I've never used like a contour and highlight pencil before. This one is also the LA Colors brand. I don't really know exactly what I'm doing, but I'm just gonna... Oh my God, that is so weird. <gasps> oh, that's so dark. Oh god, this is so weird. I feel like, oh no. It goes on really easily though. That's kind of nice. I'm gonna get it here and here. Okay, so that's all I'm gonna do for contouring. And then I'm gonna go here. And I'm gonna go on my nose. Here, I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna go under my eyes. Oh my god, I look so strange right now. And I'm gonna just go, yeah, like that. Okay, it also comes with its own sharpener, which is kind of cool. Let's try and blend this. It says it should blend. Ooh, okay, it does blend pretty easily. Yeah, I know you can blend it with um, a beauty blender if you want, but... Yeah, I don't really know if I'm actually seeing the difference. Let's see. Yeah, I kind of like this a little bit more than using just bronzer, actually, not gonna lie. I know I'm not using my same finger for the highlight and the contour. I'm using my middle finger for highlight. Yeah, it is a little, a little dark. Yeah, that's actually not too bad. And that actually blended like a lot easier than I expected it to. Wow, go Dollar Tree, man. That was pretty easy. The thing that I'm gonna do is do my brows and I'm gonna use the LA Colors Brow Tint. I got it in dark brown. I don't know if that's what I was supposed to do, but that's, I think they only gave me the option of dark brown or blonde and I'm clearly not blonde. I also never do my brows ever. So this is a really, really tiny brush to me. Also, don't know why I'm shaking so much. I think it's because I'm hungry. Do you guys see a difference? Oh, yeah, I definitely see a difference. It definitely looks way more full. Whoa! I'm gonna do the other eyebrow now. We are done. This is my $9, $10 makeup look, technically $9. I hated the eyeshadow, the eyeshadow was awful, but I also think it's because I was using these stupid little brushes. So if you guys use the eyeshadow, definitely use your own brushes. The liquid eyeliner was actually a lot easier to put on than what I expected, and it was very, very liquidy, but it did dry really fast. But it was also really easy to take off, like the little part on the corner that I messed up on. That was pretty easy to take off. The mascara, Nah, it's okay. 
Um, I have used the falsies though. I use the falsies actually for recruitment and I really, really like them. I think I also use them for, I'll insert a picture of it right here because I don't know where they are right now. I have used those for recruitment and I think I use them for formal too. The only thing that I didn't like about them was the glue that it came with. The glue that it came with when I used it, it gave me a sty on my eyelid, like two of them, and it's really annoying. So I don't use the eyelash glue for that. I just use my my regular like duo eyelash glue. Um, the contour stick was pretty good since also that was my first time using a contour stick. I don't have anything to compare it to. So if you guys have any other recommendations of like things that you want me to compare all of these things to, because I don't like wear makeup a lot now, but since you know, we're all in quarantine, it might be nice for me to just try the stuff. And the foundation is pretty easy to put on too. I can't really like, I don't really see much of a difference of it from my normal foundation that I use, which is my Smashbox one, um, the Studio Skin, and I've also never used BB cream before, so I don't have anything, any other BB cream to compare this to as well. That is my overall haul. That's my overall consensus of everything. So this one's also an LA Colors metal lipstick. It is the color Crushed. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna see. I don't normally wear lipstick. Um, I don't know if this video is going up or is going up before or after my Zodiac sign one, but if you guys watch that video, um, I'll have a link down in the description below if it is up already. Um, that one I had to wear like a really bright lip, like pink lipstick and I hated it. So yeah, let's try this one. Uh, or metallic-y. It actually doesn't look too bad. It's, I don't know why it looks so much brighter on my camera than it does in person. It's definitely metallic-y for sure. I don't know if I'd really use this very often, you know, maybe for like an event or something, but went on really easily. Um, you know, like the majority of the other things that I used. And yeah, I can't believe I almost forgot about that. It's because it was like face down with all of my rest of my stuff. Um, so that's why Loki kind of forgot about it, but yeah, so this is my whole look now. So yeah, I'm gonna go take pictures for a thumbnail now. If you guys like this video and want me to do more videos like this, let me know down in the comments below and please give this video a huge thumbs up for me. That will help me out so much. If you guys wanna go check out these products yourselves, um, obviously everyone's skin is different, but if you guys want me to do more videos like this, please let me know in the comments below, like I said, and make sure that you're subscribed to my channel and hit the little subscribe button down below and the bell next to it so that you're notified every time that I upload a new video to YouTube. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. Bye.